Outside for a second. Alright, we are live right now, so I need everybody in positions. Can somebody change this? Huh? I gotta see the script a little bit. Where, where should he at? You gotta see the script? Yeah. I, I forgot the one part. Jalir is accompanied by his family, Samia, Miller, and James Stanley. His advice for underclassmen is to keep working and be patient. Your time is going to come. By his parents, Sarah and Anthony. His favorite team moment is doing thing, team bonding activities and going out right. to battle on Friday nights. His advice for other classes. Our next senior is Jalen Hornsby.
everybody. Deuce is accompanied by his family, Dominique, Tremere, Kenneth Sr., Culture, Trey, Cassidy, and Ken Kenei, Kenai. Deuce's favorite football memory is beating Delcy, snapping that 23 game. Is number 58, Jalen McCain. Jalen McCain is accompanied by his family, Monique, Jada, and Jasmine. Jalen's favorite football memory was winning a sectional championship in 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, number 58, Jalen. Cam is accompanied by Derek. Tahima Brown, Carter Brown, Jaden Brown, and Marissa Brown. His advice to underclassmen is to remain confident. If you're not betting on yourself, you'll never be successful. Cam's favorite football memory is beating Delcy this season. Cam plans to go to college to continue his playing career, earn a degree, and make his family. Number one, Cam Brown. Let's give one more applause for all of our senior football. Cameron considers herself a lovely sister and home. Her mom, patient, wise, dad, Brian McLean, grandpa, Stephen McLean, stepdad. Mom, Khadija, Garcia, stepdad, Edgar Garcia, dad, Sincere Spence, stepmom, Amia Johnson. Her favorite quote, think big, trust yourself, and make it happen. Let's give it up for Asia Johnson. Escorted by Dad Anthony Green, Mom Tiffany Green, 
brother Brandon Green, cousin Khalees Marshall. Brooke's favorite color is pink. Her go-to quote is, God is within her. She will not fall. Bombs, 46.5. Brooke's hobbies are dancing, listening to music, Supported by Sister Manasia Brown, Sister Khalees Parrish, best friend Shayla Collins, brother Samuel Penn, Sister Tanisha Rowe. Michaela loves to dance and cheer. She is an ongoing, outgoing, and energetic young lady. She is an honest role student. Derek, after this, what do you want me to do? Senior, Kayla Taylor is our next and last cheerleader. Her mom, Katora Holman, and dad, Jamal. Terry and Debbie Harris. Give it up uh, for our 88. corn captain, Terry Harris III. Oh, the camera battery? I don't know. I don't know how to check. For our assistant drum major, Amber Humphreys.
escorted by Paris, Raquel Torado, and Ezekiel Torado Sr. Let's give it up for Ezekiel Torado Jr. Let's give it up for the drum major. Drum major Giovanni Vera. Excluded by Dexter and Danica Medallion and Kathleen Santos. There. Let's give it up for Kyle Medallion.
Yo, Derek. Let me know when I'm live. Keep keep it on the keep it on the team. It's mine. You see, he has to turn on. Dead on the line.
ownership home of the Eagles. Oh so we Our captains are back. Looks like Wenzel will we'll be kicking off. Looks like Wenzel will we'll be kicking off. Left to right. Sorry guys, I had a little bit of trouble starting this broadcast for you guys. If you guys can hear me before, this is Winslow Senior Night. Got some great seniors out there. We love our seniors. Today we got Winslow Township versus Burlington Township. Great matchup. A lot of energy on the field. Great weather out here. I'm excited I'm excited to be out here. I know the players are too. A lot of fans out here. A lot of supporters. I should say. Winslow will be kicking off to Burlington Township. For Burlington Township to receive, we got... Number 15 and number 5 in the backfield. And for kicker for Winslow, we got Timmy Bright. Great did the pitch on football. Got our band out here. It's always lovely when our band's out here. We love our band. They bring that energy for us all the time. Once again, I want to give a shout out to Studio 106 and Coach I as we get ready to start this kickoff. Just sit next to it with your hand. Let's have a good game. And the kick is I'm going up. Come back out. Good kick from Timothy Bright from Winslow. Misses the ball number 15 in the backfield. Winslow gets down there fast. Misses a tackle but gets brought down around the 10. Great kick by Timmy Bright for Winslow. 15 of the returner for Burns Township. So the ball is Winslow starting defense to come out there first for the Eagles. Burlington Township offense will come out there. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. You wanna? Good. Joining us today, we got Mr. Shropshire. How you doing today, Mr. Shropshire? Doing well, Mr. Chambers. Doing very well. Appreciate it. That's good. That's good. That's good. Great weather out here. You can't ask for a better night for football. Uh, I can't. Uh, I'm sorry. No. Got Jalen McCain out there on the starting defensive line, one of our seniors. At the end. A little bit of movement from Burlington Township. It's a pass to the outside to number five. Breaks a tackle. He broke that He's on the run. 240. Was it will be brought down at round of 50. That was a really nice play. They did that little back pick. Drove on the ball, he drove right down the sideline and busted the cover. So Great pass by the Burlington Township first quarterback. Mm. Right about midfield. Looks like Burlington Township is going no huddle. Yeah, it looks like Winslow's playing a, a high safety, eight in the box, trying to stop the run. Stop right now, the top stop right now. Four down lineman for Winslow. <laughs> Motion in the backfield for Burlington Township. Ball is snapped. Handed off to number 21, the running back. He has a hole. Right side. Around the right. Doesn't get about much, but. Looks like about two yards. Probably second and eight now. Time is 11 minutes and 31 seconds left in this first quarter. Offsides on Winslow. Looks like number 50 jump. Nearly launch you early. Yeah, all sides against the defense. That's what's got five yards to the five. It will be a five yard penalty. Are you sure? Winslow's defense. Yeah, that'll make it second and three. <laughs> Looks like Darlington's going to run three wide receivers again. Wait, hold on. A lot of talk from Burlington Township sideline. Ball is snapped. Right, it will be a QB sneak. Yep, QB sneak spot got the first down. Almost immediate brought, immediately brought down by Winslow. Nice play by the defensive line to get penetration. From the 41. I think I seen Jalen McCain, number 58, first on that tackle, one of our seniors, as I mentioned before. Burns is going no huddle again. They run the same look, four different plays. I'm hoping to catch Winslow's defense aligned. 
jumping off sides there. It's not working, Scott, right? But it's not showing up on there? Nah. You said it's Are not supposed to. to. Yeah. Uh, no. So this is the first time they run a different formation. They move the tail back up and they ran a jet sweep. Motion back for Wooby jumped up to number five. Yeah, they he ran the jet across the backside. He gets the edge very well. That backside at the end has to keep that team if they want to stop that run. This is pick up a seven. Oh, I know. I don't know why it's not working. Pick up a seven on that play. Second and three for Burlington Township. They're driving down that field. Nine minutes and 49 seconds left in this first quarter. Looks like Winslow DN jumped again, but he got back. Burton Township looking to that sideline again. Motion in the back for once again. Looks to pass it to number 21. He falls, catches it, but yeah, it looks like he missed the ground. Four or five yards on that play. Yeah. So he's down right there. This is high school. Once you go down. You know, Winslow was there though. The Good coverage by Winslow. We bring up third and seven. Yeah, that was a really nice play by defensive end number 58. He read that really well. Even if he caught the ball and stood on his feet, he wouldn't have got very far. Our safety back there, we got some Maj Anderson, another one of our seniors. Now it's for Winslow. Trips to right, ball is snapped. Quarterback steps back, up in the pocket. Oh, it's a fumble. Oh, yeah, Looks like stop. Winslow will recover. Exactly. Brother Township will recover. Yeah, it's a touch of quarterback fell right on it. It was a beautiful play. Good by the Winslow defensive end. I didn't catch who got the sack. It's a 10 yard loss here. Looks like Brother Township's punt team will come out. Have number 10 back there for Winslow. Cameron Miller. All right, good. Just make sure that's we know who that guy is. Cameron Miller's having a great season for Winslow. Phenomenal season. I wouldn't be surprised if he returns one here. We've seen him do it a couple times this season. Let's hope you're right, Mr. Chambers. That'd be wonderful. Hold by him. Snap's good. Hunt's good. Cameron he will be going for it. He's got a lane. Makes a cut. Got a couple blockers on sideline. Gets him out the corner. He's going to go, Mr. Chambers. At the 50. Gets the sideline, but he's brought down. Great call, Mr. Chambers. Great call. Great run by Cameron Miller. That was about a 45 yard punt return on that play. Great job, Mr. Cameron Miller. He's been locked down all week. I see his demeanor. Winslow's first possession will be in Burlington Township. Possession. Great start by Winslow so far. Signs of a great night. A beautiful play by him to take that against and run back against the green. Come all the way back across the field. He needed one more block and he would have took that to the house. Great catch by Jalen Horns, another one of our seniors. 
And the kick is up by the kick is up and, and the, the kick, kick is, is good. good. It's good. Timothy Bright, another one of our seniors. Great night. Score is 7-0. Seven, seven minutes and 30 seconds to go in the first half. The band will also play. We want to thank everybody for coming out to the house tonight. All the boys in the township are run, and we will never forget the Edgewood alumni. Got a great coaching staff out there for Winslow. Winslow is definitely able to make plays, great plays. Got great players. Yeah, so far, Brunswick Charge has been able to run most of the plays the way they want them without much stopping by the ball. Right line up for the 40. The one thing about this Brunswick team this year is that they haven't had the passes for their special team just vastly improved. From their extra points to their field goals to the entire coverage of what their special team gives them. Again for the kick. The kick is up. The kick is up. The kick is back up to 15. He breaks over the right side of the field. Number five with a turn. He gets a hold in the middle, but it's brought down number three by number three from Winslow. Six. So for the next possession, the Falcons will be at their own 36. Winslow Township Band playing here tonight. I see they have a lot of their alumni with them tonight. Time out here on the field as Barrington gets up. Yes. Be first and ten at the Winslow Township 35 yard line. 36 yard line. Just a little bit more. Ran that jet sweep again and tried to do a draw on either. A lot of fakes in the back. Looks like they're trying to catch Winslow with the with the Okie Doo. Well, they're running that same jet sweep and they're trying to do stuff underneath it. That time they ran the draw out of it. So the Winslow defense is watching it instead of trying to adjust it right away. They didn't attack it. But let's see what else they can come out of. Can come out of that package. Looks like they keep trying to get Winslow to jump. Yeah, Winslow's D line being very like. Pass aggressive, trying to put pressure, and they're running this draw right underneath it. Another handoff to the middle, number 12, which is a great game. Good gang tackle right there by Winslow, but he's still got a nice game out of it. A lot of green on that play. They're giving him a first down, so it must be a five yard game. Looks like they finally changed their formation. Now they have a double stack wide receivers, five linemen, and a running back. He's not going to take that whole thing off. And they still ran the draw. Another handoff. They still ran the draw. Winslow didn't adjust to that. They played all seven guys in the box, and that's the four guys have some of the outside, and they still ran right at it. 21 is definitely fighting for those yards for Burlington Township. Absolutely. And Burlington apparently is not going to huddle all night. They're just going to run a hurry up offense and try to adjust to what Winslow's doing, keeping the Winslow lineman on the field. Winslow blitzes. Another handoff. Brought down with number 58. The end. Jalen King. Winslow middle linebacker blitzed up the A gap and the running back went around the outside of it. Right to the B gap. Gets him aside for a couple of yards. It will be a first down for Brooklyn Township. Yeah, Winslow gets both linebackers up there. He got him to be at that time, but he popped to the outside. 43. Offsides off Winslow. Number 50 on Winslow jumped. Looks like the play will be on Malachi Brown. Sub 
open. Kid is great. Five yards. 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 Five yards.
Winslow lining up for the kick return. We got Cameron Miller back there with Kim Brown. Two bro, both great returners. If Burlington was smart, they wouldn't kick the ball to either of them. Cam Brown. Cam Miller. Kicking off number the speed of Cam Brown and Cam Miller is going to be a lot for Burlington to match. Looks like they will kick it to him. It looks like it might have been a mistake. It will be short kick out of bounds. There's nothing he could do with that. So Bobo is dead right about the 15. Looks like a dirty laundry will be brought on the field. So they did go out of bounds, just made it. So they called the kick out of bounds, so Winslow get the get the ball up at the 30-yard line, I think? 35 so decided to take the ball at their 35. Instead of a new kick, so they will have it, first and 10, from their own 35. Cam Miller with the, with the Cam Miller caught that ball going for It was hit by number 12 in the air, but he got his foot on the first. ground. Cam took the hit and kept going. He was he caught that pass full speed and just jetted for 10 yards. Nice play by Cameron Miller. Great job by the referee. Really efficient for getting that ball. I said they spotted a little short of 10 yards. It must be first and or second and one for Winslow. Two minutes, eight seconds to go in the first quarter. That's a mark off in the spot. Oh, looks like we have a penalty on Winslow. From the 43, taking it back to the 33. So we'll make up a first thing in about 12. So now Winslow Township has first and 12 and it's called a holding penalty on that play. Took the yards away from Mr. Miller's catch. Burlington Township has three down linemen. Three down linemen, three linebackers. Against the four wins of so we have a another seven person one for Winslow. We have a lot of dignitaries here tonight for the homecoming game. Looks like it will be a hand up for number three. Short key subbed out for number zero. Start first second and ten. Thirty-four. A lot of our Winslow Township board members are here tonight. Dr. Petit's in attendance. Mr. Morello and the high school staff are all here for the homecoming event. So it should be a nice evening all around. We recognized all the seniors before the start of the event. So it's a very good evening here at Winslow Township Stadium. Let's hope the Eagles get us a win tonight. Ball to snap. Looking for a pass. Pass to oh, the number zero. Man, we just missed him. Almost caught. A SAR. The freshman. He's a big kid for a freshman. Has a beautiful route though. Beautiful route. Had a great route running. He's been showing us all year. Can't wait to see him, see him in playoff mode. Shout out to our Winslow starting five on all of its line. Another pass for Winslow. Looking for number four, Boomer. It's caught. He's nice brought play. down around the 55. 
Again, right into all that zone and dropped it right on him. Very nice pass, very nice catch. 17, check that 17. Right Looks like Burlington's happy to sit in the zone. Play two deep safeties, play four across the front and two cornerbacks. Three defensive linemen and just call it good. If Winslow can keep dropping passes in there, it should be a nice night for our passing game. Or they could start running against this. Another drop back pass for Winslow. Great blocking by Winslow's oh, offense. Bad. Cameron Miller. Oh, he just did it. Wow. Big arm by our Winslow Township quarterback right there. Great speed by Cameron Miller getting to the Nineteen seconds left in the first quarter. Second and ten at the Burlington or the Wendell Township forty six yard line. Pass on number Cameron. 10 again. Spit the head. Cameron Miller with a nice little route. Ran right in between that zone. Quarterback dropped the ball right on. Very nice play. 26. 20 yard pickup. Parker. 20 yard kick pickup for Winslow. Catch by Cameron Miller. He's going to be showing up here all night. That's probably going to be the end of the first quarter. Tied 7 7. That is the end of the first quarter. Just four, seven to seven. And once again, stay tuned. Halftime will be crowning our home court. All I say is that I start. I'm also, the band will be performing. I start. I start. We thank all our old alumni coming out. Kind of alumni. Great night tonight. Us, giving us that energy. Great have Great first quarter by Winslow, as well as Burton Township. We have a full crowd here on Winslow Township side. There's not as many seats to be had. All right, so as we flip the field, we'll be first and ten for the Falcons' 26 yard line. I think both teams both have three timeouts. Winslow's got the ball on the 26 yard line. So we have the quarterback. So like first person quarterback keeper. Middle. About five. Second and five. Second and five at the Winslow Township 21 yard line. Saw it on the ground, right? Yeah, it's right there. Winslow going trips left. Cameron Miller on the right hand side, one running back. Ball is snap. It's a quarterback. Like all the ones that wasn't ready. Quarterback keeper. You have a good behind the play. It's about an eight, nine yard pickup. How we do have a flag? Definitely so right. So Legal procedure back. by Winslow, five yard penalty. So now it's second and ten at the Winslow 26. Right under where you drop. That eliminated an eight-yard quarterback keeper by number 17. Another one of our series I heard from Winslow. We have Jalen Hornsby, the Texas A&M commit. Oh, he's coming out. He's coming out. Number 11, that is, if you didn't know that number. Our Texas A&M commit. He has amazing speed, John Hornsby. 
Him and Kyron Miller have to be two of the fastest cornerbacks in group in group three. Group four. Ball is snapped. Looks like it's giving a pop. Number three is brought down immediately by Brilliant Township defensive line. Was Township is not giving much of a push for the running back. Hopefully he can find a hole some way somehow. Get through there. So he can shine today. Winslow standing at that trip's left formation. Winslow standing that formation now, third down and 14. Winslow Tavs retained with the three on the left hand side, one on the right hand side. Great snap by Winslow. Pass number three. Pass. The so running back. Oh, another flag. Another flag behind him. A lot of dirty laundry out there today. I wonder what this call may be. My guess it's probably going to be holding on Winslow. Oh, oh, against against the Falcons. Falcons. Looks like it will be on Burton Township. So that play, they will receive those yards from Windsor Township. Wow. Change the quarterbacks right now. I totally read that wrong. My apologies. Did you have a case on it? I have a case on it. I'm not sure. Change the quarterbacks for Winslow. We're number 13, 7 and for number 7. Parker. Parker's been there for us all night. Last year had a great, great, great game last game. We have two about six, seven yards. First and goal, I guess, at the six yard line. Winslow staying in that trip left. Ball is snapped, but the ball is fumbled in the backfield. Quarterback will we'll try to run, but it's brought down here by Burlington Township. That was a big loss right there. Yeah. That's about a 10, 12 yard sack, I think. No. Great defense by Burlington Township, recognizing that fumble in the backfield and getting there quickly. Back to the 18. I believe that was a little bit of miscommunication between the center and the quarterback. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Number 13 was subbed out and Parker number 7 was brought back into the game for Winslow. Motion for Winslow. Looks like the target is Jalen Hornsby but he drops the ball. Passes a little bit to his outside shoulder. He had to come back for it. And had the other wide receiver flash right into his view, I would say. Points be saying that was my fault. By the tap on the chest. I know once he gets to the sideline, he's going to be doing his push ups. So it is third and 18. Good snap. Cam Screen Brown. pass to number one. Makes a move. Cam Brown was brought down after a three yard gain. So now it's fourth and 15. So it's going to be the fourth and goal from the 13. Fourth and goal from the 13. Cam Brown is super shifty, super fast. A great athlete. He's the brother of Jalen Brown, a former Winslow wide receiver. Another great player for us. Check that. That reminds me of him a lot, actually. His attitude as well as his performance. Winslow going for it here, fourth and 15. A lot of time for Winslow's quarterback. Side pass, and the pass is caught by Jalen Horns. Hornsby! Now Jalen Hornsby with another touchdown. Jalen Hornsby! Jalen Hornsby from Jalen Hornsby. Five points the ball for his second touchdown of the game. Yes, sir. Our Texas A&M commit. Can I push the score? Great catch. Winslow, showed a little bit of late hands there. He's been working hard. I've been seeing his, his, his demeanor. He's also locked in. Been locked in this whole week. He's a Texas Who A&M. Man, I'd be locked in, too. I bet he is. Yo, Scott. I'd be locked Scott. in. Trying to make sure I had everything I could to go. Yeah, I'm place. getting it. No, I was just asking. Just... It is good. And the kick is good. Score is going to be 14-7 with 8 minutes and 28 seconds left in this first quarter. Good first half by Winslow here in homecoming night. Senior night. Every night you could possibly have here at Winslow Township Stadium. 
sun went down, it's getting a little bit chilly. Perfect football weather. Winslow's out there ready. Everybody's hyped. They kick off getting ready. That's him right there out there to kick the ball off. Best kicker in South Jersey, in my opinion. Our band out here is phenomenal. Giving us that energy that we need. It's never the same when our band's not here. We really appreciate the band. Another shout out to Studio 106 and Coach I for his production and his live stream. Can we check a professional show that he puts together for every event here at Windsor. The man has a great talent. Number five for the return. Gets a couple blocks to the outside, about the left side. Almost brought down to 40, but he's still going. Looks like he get about get out get out around the 50. Yeah, that's about a 25, 30 yard return right there. A good return for Brooklyn Township. Doing a lot of stuff going across the Windsor Township pursuit. Doing a lot of crackbacks and doing a lot of moves. Special teams this year has actually been great. Our last year's special teams was also great. We lost one of our special teams coaches. At, at halftime, they were in the halftime. Uh, 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 I'll let you know what's going to do. Eight minutes and 18 seconds left in this first half. Burlington Township with the ball. Burlington's running that trips on the right. They're going to run that motion underneath of it. Looks like they're going to throw back to the motion. Except Looks the like Winslow the player flew it up. Oh, there you go. Nice Break up by 14 Samaj. Top of the face, the wide receiver knocked it away. Beautiful job by the Winslow defense there. They jumped the route that they were going to run, and then he had to go to a secondary option, and Samaj Anderson blew that play up. So very nice job by the Winslow Township defense. I believe the next one might be a pick. Oh, I can feel a pick coming. Especially if the linebackers roll up and safeties come up and take those backwards passes away and those jet sweeps away. They'll have to do something over the top and that'll play right in the window Township. Another run by Burley Township. They've been keeping that ball on the ground all night. Number 21 has been getting them a bunch of yards. Their offensive line has been, doing, has been getting a great push. They have some big boys on the offensive line. He just, number 21, sits right behind them and explodes out. What'd you say? It's probably kind of hard to see him behind all those big guys. Absolutely. A little bit of weird, a weird snap for where the township will be a killer right sneak. Trying to get the first down. They Looks like he will get it. They did the Philadelphia Eagles push push right there where they tried to push him from behind and get that extra yard. Yeah. Brooklyn Township scheming tonight. Taking some professional NFL plays to gain that yard. Trips right for Brooklyn Township trying to get Winslow on that fake snap. Uh, what is it called now? The Brotherly Shove? Is that what it's called now? I have no clue. There's your play on top. Pass. He's wide open. Nice. First half, they sucked the Winslow defense in with multiple runs and then went to number five on the out route and he just blew past number 12 on Winslow. That 
that might come in handy for Winslow later down on the line. Darius Slay is here tonight. He was cornerback watching the Winslow Township game. Darius was down on the field before the game. Was invited here by Coach Belt to kind of watch the Winslow Township high school team play. We are very honored to have the Eagles all pro quarterback here for this time. Alright, so back Cam Miller and Cam Brown. Cam Miller and Cam Brown, both. He did. Yeah. Cam Miller and Cam Brown, both ready to return another kickoff. Last time they kicked a little bit short, but it went out of bounds. We'll see if Burlington's willing to kick to Winslow Township's two burners on the back side. And let's not forget that first one that he got, he almost took it to the home, he almost took it to the crib. That's why I don't think they're going to kick to him again. I hope not. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I hope they do. I like to make that call. <laughs> Me too. Okay, it looks like it will be a good ground ball. Yeah, looks like number two, Kenneth Ever will recover it for Winslow. Winslow gets the ball at the 34-yard line. I can get the game plan by Burlington there, not trying to go with the Winslow speed. I believe Winslow has no problem with getting the ball at this 34-yard line when they have Cameron Miller as well as Jalen Horsby. I agree with that. And that great arm that they got back there in that backfield. But there's multiple great arms as they keep rotating their quarterbacks through. Winslow Township coming out. Seven minutes and five seconds to go in the second quarter. First and ten at the 34 yard line. Delay procedure by Winslow. Like we have a delayed game on Winslow. Yeah. Five yard loss. So now it is first and fifteen at the twenty nine yard line. Did either team use the timeout yet? I don't think Yes. Winslow Township. Quarterback stretches to the right side of the field. He takes off. He makes a move that misses the defender. Ooh, they want to take that hit. Ooh, they're going to call a personal foul for hitting the head. Don't know if they gripped his face mask either, but that was definitely a legal hit by Burns. And I put my money on that. Yeah, I said yeah. I said yeah. So we got a timeout by Winslow Township. Did they pick the flag up? Yeah, I think they picked the flag up. Wow. No so second in about three. Wow. No penalty on that play. Looks like they picked the big line you up, they said. So we're second and three at the Burlington 40 yard line. Whoa, you don't want to knock that camera down. I'm not paying for nothing. I've been a Windsor Township football fan for the last 10 years, so I have to take a little bit of my body to my announcing. Three from the 40, 684 left in the second. 
Cooper's will take the field as Burnley the Township defense takes the field. Six minutes and 54 seconds left in the first half. A lot of game left still. Winslow drops back for a pass. Burlington blitzes and again. Burlington Township will get a sack number nine. And yeah, Burlington sold out right there. They, they played zero coverage across the top and they sold out on the blitz. Winslow running the hurry up offense, catching Burlington Township by Raw while they celebrating. Yeah, it's going to be about third and seven, third and eight, something like that. Winslow trip to the left. Winslow for a pass. pass and a first down. Cam Brown. Brown. Cam Brown with the first down. For the first down. It's a beautiful play by Winslow. Great catch. Cam Brown got hit harder by his own player trying to pick him up than I think he did on the ground. Winslow again in a hurry up offense. Look like they're running that two minute drill. With six minutes to go. Quick snap. To number one, Cameron Brown. Cameron Miller. Miller. He breaks Cameron the tackle. Miller. He gets loose. He's the third one. To the 20. Go. 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 the 20. He's the 10. 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 At Winslow Township, he's been for all four years. We love that kid. The score is 20 to 13. Our Winslow Eagles with 20. Mr. Martin just said spinning and winning. That's the truest spinning and winning run I've ever seen by Cameron Miller. What a great job showing that great electric speed. Great move by Cameron Miller out there. Great speed, great hands. Good to see his energy's up there and he's excited to play. Breaking a tackle, and then breaking another tackle, and then breaking another tackle, and another take it all the way to the house. All right. And the kick is good. Three extra points in a row for the Winslow Township kicker. Timmy Bright is on fire tonight. And I said, I believe he's the best kicker in South Jersey. Tim Bright flapping his wings, celebrating as the Mules. On the 13 with 5 minutes and 54 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Winslow Township getting ready to kick off. Gets it. He's going right up the middle just like normal. He makes that all the way up to the 44 yard line. Great return. He made something and nothing. Well, nothing and something. I, mean, I, mean, I think he did what he did best. He runs right up the middle. He does what he does best. Like you said. With 549 to go here in the second quarter. 21 to 13 Winslow Township. First and ten at the 44-yard line for Burlington. Next, next. Oh, the third and fourth. And Wilshire Township stands are packed here tonight for homecoming. Oh. Wilshire Township administrative staff is over there on the right-hand side of the track. Stands out in the back. Look like they're full of people. It's beautiful night here again for football. A little bit of movement, Burton Thompson's back for another handoff for them. Number 21 again. Number 14, Samad Anderson comes diving in, takes out his legs. He shot that gap and made a nice hit on the running back. Still trying to get Winslow on that snap count. They did that in the first, and they continue to run this same. 
type of situation. They're going to run no huddle again, I think. And they're going to wait and see what Winslow's in. And they're going to hand it off and go right up the middle. And another nice play by Winslow, number 50, with a beautiful leg tackle, Malachi Brown. Ah, oh, Malachi Brown. I've been seeing that man for a while. Glad he's doing so well. Malachi Brown, about 30, about 7. What? I'll put you yeah, Four minutes and 42 seconds to go in the second quarter. Third and seven at the Burlington 47 yard line. Just keep doing what you're doing. I'm looking at y'all shots, so I'll still judge y'all. Not on the bump, though. Ball is snap. Fake hand. That was number 21. He's blown up by number 50. He will throw the ball out of bounds. Nice catch on the sideline by number 31 on, Vin on Winslow. Fourth down and seven at the 47 yard line. Looks like Bellington is going to punt. From the 47. Nice play by the Windsor Township defensive line. They blew that play up. Four minutes and 16 seconds left in this first half. Ooh, muff pump by the punter. Winslow Township's got him fumbled. And Winslow Township dove on the ball. Peter Milley is that wide open. He could have picked it up and ran into the end zone. Muff punt leads to a turnover. And Winslow has the ball on the 33 yard line. We do catch up on three to the right hand side of the field this time. Lone receiver on the left hand side. See a lot of Winslow Township alumni here tonight. Going back to support homecoming. See the Winslow Township team play football. Oh, set up the screen. Street number three. Straight down. One yard gain there. I think it's second and nine. 32 yard line. Has a lot of running for one yard. Uh, yeah. What? Uh, I don't know. I'll let you know. Ball this snap for Winslow. Looking for a pass. Looks like they have eight men in the back. Eight men in the back. Quarterback keeper. A nice game for Winslow. Nope. Check that 18. First and ten from. <laughs> Winslow Township, first and ten at the 18. Four wide receivers out there. They go for another pass. The former is brought down. Hit on the plate, but brings it right down for second. Boomer, our Hulton. sophomore. With a catch to the one yard line, 17-yard catch. That was a great catch by Boomer. Wait, where are they at? Just push. They did the brotherly shove for the touchdown. Looks like it will be a Winslow's touchdown. Oh no. They're calling it short by half a yard. Oh, they called it short. Winslow looking to punch it in here with the QB sneak, and it's walking towards number seven. Score is now 21 to 13. Uh, Winslow Eagles are 21. And 
Brooklyn Township with 13. My apologies. Score is now 27 to 13. We're going for the extra point here. Two minutes and 20 seconds left in this first half. Winslow Township leading 27 to 13. Go for their fourth extra point of the night. And it is good. Good. Field goal is good for Winslow. Making the score 28 to 13. Amazing first half by Winslow. Winslow needs one more stop here before halftime and then they get the ball back. Coming out. In the second half. The Winslow Township speed is normally what gets people, but tonight their toughness is coming through. And you can see that Burlington is starting to wear down a little bit. With the size of the Burlington offensive line, I figured it would be a long night for Winslow with the running, but Winslow's speed is kind of working to its advantage on the defensive line. I agree. Every time Burlington tries to do tough type of stretch play, Winslow's defense gets there. If you're escorting any homecoming court, you need to report to from the bleachers, the right corner of the end zone where the players enter. So if you are escorting a home court, remember you need to report to the open gate at this time. Winslow Township cheerleaders showing off a little bit. Great job by that young lady. Tim Bright kicking it off in the 40. Tim Bright with another low kick. Fielded by number five on the 18 yard line. He got down steps. there quick. Winslow got down and they caught him. That little stutter step cost him. This is the first time that Burlington didn't try to go right to left. He tried to stutter step and come back and Winslow's speed caught up to him. Two minutes and 15 seconds to go here in the second quarter. 20 to 13 Winslow. Burlington with the ball first and 10 on a 24 yard line. I see your cheerleaders are letting you know what it is. Let's give it up for our Winslow Township cheerleaders. Let's give it up. Let's give it up for our Winslow Township cheerleaders. Got a lot of seniors on that cheerleading squad tonight. Been on that program for four years. They've been working hard too, along with the football team this whole week. Yeah, this brings back memories. All these faces. Quarterback keep for Burlington Township got great yards. Looks like he puts up about six on the play. Yeah, looks like a six yard pickup. Balls in the 24 yard line. Interesting call with two Burlington Township with a quick pass, but immediately brought down by Samaj Anderson, the senior. He's been there all night. Samaj is bringing it tonight. He's hitting hard. Samaj is one of those players. He's always there where you need him to be. He's still into the game. Yeah, real strong safety for Winslow, but he's coming up and he's laying it on him. Nice, sure tackling coming up. He reminds me of another one of our strong safeties we had here at Winslow, Trey Moore. Trey Moore, I love Trey Moore. Trey Moore is working at the barbershop now. Doing great things in the community. Ball is thrown out by Burlington Township. Winslow's defense is bringing that pressure. Number eight, Second down. With a one minute and 18 seconds left in this first half. Trey Moore played with nothing but emotion for every game he played. What a great kid. Looks like Burlington's running trips to the left hand side of the field. Single wide receiver on the right hand side. Township runs that for ball a hand off. center. Oh, missed tackle by Winslow. Trying to get outside, but he's brought down by Samaj Anderson again. Samaj has got to have seven tackles tonight. 
so far in the first half of the game. Joe Bell is running out there on the sideline to call a timeout. Looks like he's trying to stop that clock immediately. And yeah, Belton has two. Has one timeout remaining, I think. A minute and two seconds left in this first half. If you were wondering, score is 28 to 13. I wonder the Eagles are 28. And Burlington Township with 13. Third and 10 on the 36 yard line. Great half by Winslow so far. They've turned their offense around. They started off slow. The defense has got to catch on. Time out was Winslow. Third down with 102 left. 102 to go here in the second quarter. Third and six. My apologies. Third and six. Winslow gets to stop in the timeout. They could have another drive going. They're going to run the jet going across with number five. He comes back to the strong side. Flag on the play. Wide receiver screen coming back across. Flag on the play. Proud guy number, by number 58, Jalen McCain. Dirty laundry on the play. Winslow Township coach called another timeout here, but it was waved off because of the flag. A little under a minute here. 53 seconds to be exact. I've been really bad with my penalty guesses tonight, so I'm going to refrain. Legal procedure against Burlington. Winslow Township is going to march them back. Okay. We have a legal procedure. It looks like it's about third and 11 now. 53.2 seconds to go in the second quarter. So it stays third down. Burlington's going to go a double stack wide receivers. Out of this formation, they've run a lot this game. Curious to see if they'd run here on third and 11. Yeah, they kept that ball on the ground all day today. Winslow showing blitz. Playing cover two, showing blitz. And they do run the draw up with number 21. They're going to force Winslow to take their last time out. Which Coach Belton does. With 43.9 seconds to go. Burlington's going to run their punt team on the field. Nine seconds left in this first half. Both the Township coming out with the ball. It is fourth down. Winslow Township left with zero timeouts. Burlington getting ready to punt. Last time at the same spot on the field, Burlington muffed the punt. I would take that right here. Where they could punt to Karen Miller and we can watch him run. Three seconds left. That's 40 minutes left. That's 40 minutes. That's enough for like the. Just do it. Just hard, hard definitely down. trying to punt away from the Winston Township returner. That was about a 15 yard punt. No, why do you keep talking about your girl, bro? We get it. You got a girlfriend. Who's that? Why they can't sit there, cuz? So the penalty was against the foul. 
Falcons are behind. The ball went out about the 40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see yeah. Looks like it went out about the 42 yard line. That's an 8 yard punt. We're at the 41. 41 yard, 7 yard punt. So where's Lula going to be first and 10 at the uh, moved up? Right. Moved it up now. It's at the 39. So it was a six yard punt. And Falcons 39. 37.3 seconds left in this first, first half. Dylan here too. Dylan. Dylan. Winslow trying to score before this half's over. Winslow's got two wide receivers on each side. They're going to drop back to pass. A lot of room to run, but he's going to try to test the play and get out of bounds. Nice run by the Winslow. Just like he gets out of bounds around 29.3 seconds. First down, 29 seconds. Winslow second Drop back pass to Winslow. Looking for open man. He's looking for someone to drive. Looking for a star, but the ball is dropped. Yeah, a little bit of a low pass. Stops the clock with 21.9 seconds to go. Second and ten. He had a lot of options there. He just tried to pick one. Didn't really set his feet to get a lie on the throw. So it was a little bit short. Wins are trying to put one more touchdown, but they are already in field goal range for Mr. Bright. So Another drop back for Winslow. Looking for a pass to Cam nice Brown. He's wide open. Nice. Cam Brown. He'll get out of bounds. Complete. He's out of bounds. What a great pass. Great catch. Right over top of the cornerback. 15 seconds left for Winslow to score in his first half. Winslow Town to get the ball down on the 13 yard line. First and 10. I don't know, I feel like a high point pass to number 11 might be in the cards right here. Yeah, either number 11 or I'm thinking my target is number 10. Yeah, but they've got 11 on the outside, they got 10 in the slot. And inside like this, I think that might just be a little drop and roll here. Yeah. Looks like it might be a time off of Burlington Township. Burlington Township, I think, saw that and they were like, we need to reassess what's going on here because they've dropped this on us a couple times. Today. Yeah. Mr. Hornsby didn't need to get another touchdown right there, even though I kind of feel it might be coming. Yeah, I still might feel it be coming. The Winslow was well set up for that pass right there. Score is 28 to 13, Winslow Township. First and 10 on the 13 yard line. With 15 seconds to go here in the first half. We got like a whole 20 minutes. Halftime show coming today will be the Winslow Township homecoming court. Yeah, man, we still have another whole half of football here tonight at Windsor Township Field. From about the 13. Windsor comes out. Just the formation up a little bit. But they still have Mr. Hornby down on the right hand side. But it looks like Burlington has double, triple coverage on that side. Wow. Movement in the backfield for Winslow. Drop back pass. Look like this is open ball for the Zero Star. The freshman. And they will get in before the half. It's over. I saw her. Burlington had so many defensive backs on the right hand side of the field. He ran right under it. <laughs> I know you know that last name hurt. 
pushing their lead. Uh, if you don't know, you'll know in the next couple of years. Yes, you will. Falcons. 13. Scores 34 to 13. Our Winslow Eagles with 34. Wellington Township with 18. Winslow getting ready for their fifth extra point tonight. And it is good. It's good. 8.6 seconds to go here in the first half. 35 to 13 Winslow Township. Coming up on our fifth kickoff of the night. Do they really want to kick off for eight seconds? No, Sky. Sky. Um, after, well, in the third or fourth quarter, am I allowed, am I, am I going to be able to use their shots too? Kickoff team coming out one more time before this first half's over. Me, sir. If I feel like a little short kickoff here, get the time to run out and go in with the lead is a nice play by Coach Belton. I agree. Coach Belton's had a couple days count. Five, four. Good evening, my name is Carmela Young, and I am your host for Winslow Scoreboard Halftime Show. I'm here with Mr. Elaine Horn and Mr. Ingram talking about the first half of Winslow versus Burlington Township football game. Mr. Elaine Horn, how do you feel about Winslow's first half? I mean, I thought Burlington Township tried to do a good job as far as keeping our offense on the sideline by running the ball, but as you can see, we're so explosive. You know, the jail and the jail and combination is just automatic. Um, we have so many skill position players all over the field. Once we get on that offensive side, we just score. So I think it's, it's tough for these other teams and their defense to keep up with our skill position players. But we did a great job. You can see 40-something seconds, we scored a touchdown. Right, Coach I? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about what I think is the most important people of the, of the night so far. So I'm going to go ahead. You guys can cut to my shot. I'm going to go over, to, over here to the board. Go ahead, cut to ME4 for me real quick. So you see the magic of a TV right here. So go ahead, cue that graphic. Two key players, Jalen Parker and Cam Miller. These two dynamic duo guys have been rock solid for Winslow all year long. Despite ups and downs, they have been bringing their A games every night. And I feel like if they continue to do their thing, we're going to be victorious at night. So before I head back to Carmelo, I just want to do a special shout out to the Studio 106, where legends begin. The entire TV production crew for putting together this production. Special shout out to my wife and my baby girl. I'll be home soon. i see you. Back to Carmelo. Thanks, Mr. Ingram. We are looking forward to an exciting second half of play. Thank you for tuning in to Winslow's scoreboard halftime show. Now back to the field where we are announcing our homecoming king and queen.
hobbies are drawing, dancing, and fashion. Her favorite color is pink, and her favorite quote is, do what you gotta do to get where you wanna be. Give it up for Miss Naisa Phillips. Next up, Miss Jordan Kennedy. Being escorted by her dad, mom, and her brother. Her hobbies are track and field, dancing, and making YouTube videos. Her favorite color is yellow and green, and her favorite quote, power of the tongue is real. Speak positivity over and into your life. Next up, Miss Savannah Lacey. Being escorted by her mom, dad, aunts, cousins, and brothers. Her hobbies are track, African American culture club, playing the drums. Her favorite color is pink, and her quote is, when you're born, in helping others. His favorite color, blue. His favorite quote, every day above ground is a good day. I get that quote from my dad, and it's the truth. We as
my people saying I can't succeed in basketball because the too short. Currently proving them wrong, and we continue to do so. Next up, Darren Dillard Jr. Escorted by his father, Darren. His favorite hobby, sports, working out, and video games. His favorite color, lime green. His favorite quote, you're nothing without discipline. It motivates me. That's why I love this quote, Mike Tyson. And then last up, Kanye Reynolds. Escorted by Mom Mashida, Uncle Tremar. His three hobbies, dancing, going out, being binge watching TV. Favorite colors, blue and gold. Favorite quote, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel, Maya Angelou. Kanye Reynolds. Freshman winners. Alright. So we're going to start with the freshman young man. Our winner is Mr. Duran. Robinson. Our freshman homecoming princess is Miss Kisa Dye. Sophomore young man, Namir Tucker. Our sophomore homecoming princess is Miss Five Star Jordan! All right, I want to the junior young man. You know what time it is. Cam Miller! Miller time! The king has arrived. I said the king has arrived. Kanye Reynolds! Thank all the participators. Excellent job. You all look great. Get them snapshots of the whole court. And we got our band. Get ready to perform for us in this homecoming great evening tonight. Once again, give it up one more time for everybody. Thank you, everybody. That's good to everybody. Thanks for coming out.
you know, be performing your halftime performance, sharing the emotion. The song is put on a happy face. Send in the clouds. And of course, can't stop the feeling.
going to sleep at 7 for the 6 Yo, why ain't you coming down? Hey, yeah, right there. Hello. I can't see you. <laughs>
Township Championship Band. All right, we're gonna have some football. Probably another five or so minutes. Yes, I have Congratulations to all of our participants in the court, the winners. Freezing up there. Came a long way from rag to rag 
I don't know how much battery he has got, so I guess he's not at the rock with can't hear them though. We can only hear them. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go. I'm ready. This is my first ever telecast, so I'm enjoying the experience. Watch it, you turn. All right, and we're back to start this second half of Winslow Eagles football. It's our senior night tonight. Our score is 35 to 13. Our Winslow Eagles with 35. Brendan Tasha with 8 13. Let's get ready for the second half. Well, I'd like to thank you for having me tonight, by the way. I appreciate the experience. I appreciate getting here to work with you. No problem. I appreciate you for coming out. It's been a really nice evening here at Winslow Township Stadium. Got to give a little shout out to Mr. Ingram again. And his beautiful, his awesome J106 now. Definitely a shout out to him. It's definitely getting a little bit chillier tonight. So if you're going out the house, be sure to put a coat on. Ah, we got a real kickoff here. Cam Brown for the kickoff return. Cam. Trying to get a block look for open hole. He makes a cut, gets it outside of the field. Cam went zero to sixty right there. He yeah. he was stopping, 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 and then turned it on a little bit and poor knew was gonna do. Got out got about to around the 40, 44, 43, 43 yard line, yeah. Very nice turn by Cameron Brown. I only got two. Winslow's offense takes the field. Nah, you're right here. Because you're right next to Derek. So, give it to Elias right there. Elias. Give it to Elias. Here, he down there. He down there. He down there. Elias over there. Over there. Coach is good. Winslow Township taking over. Strong side, two wide receivers. Weak side, one. Looks like they have a. So, the two cameras we are not using are going to have to grab and bring down there. Which one are we not using? Snap is good. Fake hand off and pass to number 10, Cameron Miller. He doesn't come down with it. Looks like he's a little bit of physical contact in the air. Couldn't come down with it. Hey, what's up? Hey, who's running? Did you reload the score page? Okay. I'm gonna need that camera right there. Where the battery is at? 
for headphones? Oh, Would you be handed a new one? Not the new snap a little bobbled in the backfield, but recovered by Parker. Winslow got a shaky start to start this second half. Looks like the long extended halftime kind of forced Winslow to be a little bit off their timing. Hopefully they were in there getting, going over their game plans. Yeah, looks like they have about 25 yards for first down. Long way to go. Maybe, maybe only 17, 18. They definitely have the quarterback 27. power. 27, sorry. My, my math is apparently not as good as it used to be. <laughs> Now you gotta go get an irony when Third and 27 here. Will Winslow be able to accomplish third and 27? And a bomb by Parker to number 11, Jalen Horns, and it's not caught. Hornsby, a little bit of contact there on the adjustment by Hornsby. Great defense by Burlington Township. Secondary keeps staying with their man all the way down the field. He is a big target, a big wide receiver. Winslow looks like they're bringing their punt team out for the first time today. Winslow couldn't convert there for a first down. They had about 25 to go for a first down. They will be punting from their own 25. If you missed the score, the score is 35 to 13. Our Winslow Eagles 35, Burlington Township 13. <laughs> High snap. Punt is good for good Winslow. Punt. Good punt. It is called my brother. Oh, Township. Oh, drop. Right. No, it looks so like Winslow ball. does come up with it. Oh. No, they don't. Brother Township has it. That's the second time where the Winslow person went over top of the ball and the Burlington guy recovered his own fumble. We're going to start that first profession. As I said before, Winslow has a great special, special teams. They work on special teams quite a lot. I'm Goliath Stephen. That's crazy. Talk to my guy. Yo. I am home. 35-13 Winslow, 10-16 to go in the third quarter. First and 10 on the 42-yard line. Winslow looks like they're sitting in the bliss here. Pass for Brother Township, number five. Ooh, big hit by number four, Nakir Helton. Also known as Boomer. He's been picking up a couple offers throughout the season. Boomer's a freshman, correct? Sophomore, I believe. Sophomore hit. Yeah. Very nice play by number four Hill. First and ten. I will say this about the, the safeties in Winslow. They do come up and tackle. If he missed that tackle, number five would have been long gone. Yes, sir. So Hand off. Draw. Immediately brought down by Malachi Brown, the junior. Samaj Anderson came up again, laid a big hit up high. Looks like that's the second running back from Burlington, number 32. Looks like they're doing number 21 a break. I don't think he has better. Burlington going away with the first, the no huddle again. Winslow trying still to keep has Winslow their, out there. Winslow still has their starting defense out there. They haven't made any substitutions. Defensively wise. Or Burlington, I guess they have a they have a new running back and a new still the same quarterback though. Winslow up in a run of the middle. Again immediately brought down. Well not brought down, but stopped dead in his tracks. That was Jaden Poteen made that tackle, correct? Number thirteen. No game tackle. Third down and nine yards to go. The Winslow 44 yard line. Eight minutes 33 seconds. Looks like we have a fairly good running clock here in the third quarter. Burlington's going with a no huddle again. Trying to keep Winslow on the field. Our running clock right now 
18, 18, 8 minutes and 17 seconds left on this clock. It is rolling. I think Burlington's going to have to start pushing the play here a little bit if they hope to try to come back. Burlington's quarterback rolling out right. Looking for a pass to the sideline. It is caught oh, by number five. First down. Nice play. Great play hit by Helton. Yard play. Nice hit by Helton. Nice game. Burlington Township continues to move the chains. As they try to punch it in that end zone. Clock stop at 7.50. 35 to 13. First and 10 at the 20, 34 yard line. Burlington resets, waits for the call from the coaching staff. We got trips left, strong side of the right. And that, I think, is a legal procedure. I would agree. Offsides. Off sides. Ooh, Winslow offsides. Oh, Didn't see that from up here. Bringing up first and five from the 20. That's good. Yeah. All right, first and five on the 29 yard line. Do our receiver to that left for Bowen Township. Oh, High snap by Bowen Township. They fall on it. Recovered by their quarterback, number 10. High snap by Burlington Township Center. Second and 13 from the Winslow 38 yard line. Looks like Burlington setting their formation again and then waiting for the play call. This clock has been running ever since I said it the last time. It's 7 minutes and 15 seconds left on this clock. I don't know if they're doing it on purpose. You would assume they'd want to go faster and get more plays in. Correct. Especially because they're down. Ooh, a little bit of pressure. Keeper. He's got a lane. Runs for a first down. down. Okay. Sitting here at Windsor Township Stadium, watching a lot of my former students walk by. Ah, the memories. From 23. First and 10 at the 23 yard line, 6 minutes and 33 seconds to go in the third quarter. Out to the middle, he breaks a couple tackles, number 32, breaks a lot of tackles, get the first down. Nice inside run by number 32. Looks like number 32 has got some thick legs, and he's driving the ball forward. Burlington can definitely has some good running backs. Gets about six on the play. Still one o'clock with five minutes and 55 seconds left in his third quarter. Burlington Township inching up. Looks like they will be going for a QB sneak. And that line is getting a great push. And looks like Winslow's deep is line. Eric's on you. Eric's on you. Should I zoom out? No, never mind. I think they're going for a two point. Wait, are they? Yeah, they're going for two. Oh, no, they're not. Never mind. You're still on me. It's 
Need for Winslow, 541 on the clock here in the third quarter. Still a lot of game left in the second half. Still time for Burlington Township to turn around. Hopefully our Eagles hold on strong, finish this game out, and get a win for the senior night. We're good. We're good out here. Cheerleaders out there. Coach Rankin seems to be regulating the cheerleading game, making sure everyone is doing what they're supposed to be doing as a team. Our cheerleader coaches are very colorful. They very much love to represent Winslow. See, Coach Rankin's got her own attire, making sure everyone knows who she is. With the pink shoes, pink hat, and uh, a big pink coach on the back. I'll call you or call me if we need something. All of our young ladies doing breast cancer awareness support with the pink bows today. For Breast Cancer Awareness Month. <laughs> Yo! Well, the township is getting ready to sh kick this, kick this. <laughs> Kick this off. Huh? Will they kick it to the two Winslow Dynamic Returners? I don't think so. I hope not. Am I cutting out Bucko? Uh -oh. And the kick is up. Uh oh. Long kick, and it's going to go to Cameron, Cameron Brown. Brown. Now I Cameron starts makes, off slow again. He, he makes a move. Oh, oh, inside. He He's looking for a lean. Oh. Breaks a couple of tackles, but it looks like it's going to be dirty laundry on the play. And we have a flag on the field. Cameron Brown tried to find a hole there to break one loose, but he just so couldn't find it. I have a feeling it's going to be against Winslow. Block in the back. Looks like a block in the back. You a 10-yard penalty. The penalty will be a block in the back, and it looks like they will be going five yards. That negates the run by Cameron. So Winslow's going to start on their own 11-yard line for the next possession. Winslow's going to start on their own 11 for the next possession that they start. Winslow's offense is taking the field. Again, they have a great quarterback power, great wide receivers. It wouldn't be hard for them to get down the field. No. Very disciplined line. Derek is a hater. All right. Tell him he's a hater. Put up the middle for Pop. He breaks a tackle. Pop. Was those on their own 28? Great run by Pop. He's a transfer yeah. from Camden High. A great athlete for us. Fixed him again. The pass is Jalen Horsby to the outside. He gets out of bounds. Great catch. Great yeah. feet. I think they waved it off. I don't know if he got a foot down. He might not have got a foot down. That's a big athlete, man. He knows yeah. how to control his body. Yeah, that throw was a little hot. I think that had a little bit to do with it. He tried to come oh, back for it. Yeah. He definitely came back for it, but that, that throw ate him up a little bit. Looking for a pass again to Cameron Miller down the sideline. He's caught. Oh, Tied that catch Cameron. by Cameron. Four minutes and 44 seconds left in this third quarter. My apologies. Still a lot of game to go. Winslow up by 15. But Winslow has a nice drive going right here. Try to take the momentum back in the game. They can flush another six in. That would be wonderful news. Hand off again to number three. Stanley up the middle. Finds a hole. Gets it. Three. This will be a second and third. Second and three with about four minutes to go here. Oh, there's another bad snap. Quarterback, Quarterback will fall on it. Ball's on. They lost about six or seven yards on that bad snap exchange. Brings up third down. A couple of extra ones. So 39 now. Third and about 12. Third and 12 here. 
I feel this might be four down territory for Coach Belton. On his own 40-yard line here, or on the um, Burlington 40-yard line here. Winslow was great at converting it for on fourth down, so I wouldn't think this would be a hard for them to get. They did miss one this yeah. game. We have Coach Belton takes the first, the first, first time out of the second half here. With 3.30 left in the third quarter. Three minutes and 30 seconds left in his third quarter. Bill Belton getting this team in that huddle, talking to him. Making sure everything's straight. Looks like there's our Windsor Township homecoming king, Kanye Reynolds, walking around right in front of the TV cameras down there. Shout out to Kanye Reynolds, our homecoming king. And Aaliyah Holmes, our homecoming queen. Big night for two of our known seniors here at Windsor Township High School. So, uh, Class of 2024 representing here. Drop back pass for Winslow. Long pass. Oh, pass caught by. Take it down. That's a great play on third and a bunch. Reminds me of a DK Metcalf. Another pass for Winslow. It's faked by the quarterback. He steps up, runs for a couple yards. He would step up for a run, but immediately be brought down by Brevin Township's defensive line. Every one on the defensive line jumped in on that gang tackle. A little bit of a late whistle on that. Second in I would have liked the early one, earlier one, especially with the quarterback. 246 left in his third quarter. Score is 35 to 20. Drop back again for pass to number zero. Oh, looks like it hit the oh, number it looks like it will be caught again by number by Boomer. I would bet on a pass interference here. I did see a little bit of contact. But when number zero went for that pass, I saw heard. But it looks like they're going to call that a completion anyway, so that will negate the penalty. But what a great play by the Winslow receivers. Alright, so we have a pass interference that is declined. So the ball is up to about the nine first and goal. First and goal at the nine for Winslow. Two minutes and 20 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Winslow looking to punch it in here. Good snap by Winslow. There's a blitz coming. Oh, picked up. Great catch. Great way to track the ball down and come down with it for a touchdown. So, the score is now 41 to 20. Great lead by Winslow. They can sit back and feel a little comfortability in this game. They got their lead back. And then Mr. Tim Bright coming in for his sixth extra point in the game. He hasn't missed one a day yet. I'm not going to say yet, but. The kick is up and kick is uh, good. Another one will be a seventh successful or sixth. Successful kick today. Successful kick. 42 to 20 Winslow. Minute 58 to go in the third quarter. Getting ready for the kickoff. Yes. 
Winslow Township cheerleaders still out here going strong here in the third quarter. Winslow Township band seems to be getting ready to go on again. We have our athletic trainer down the field, Miss McKnight. Our favorite trainer, Miss McKnight. We gotta, love her. You got to appreciate Miss McKnight. You have walking to. through, representing, making sure everyone's healthy, happy, and prepared to physically play in the games. Yes, sir. She's here all week with our players, making sure they're healthy, like you said. We very much appreciate her. Give her a big shout out. Coach Belton still looks ready to rock and roll down there. Being very serious at the 42 to 20 lead. Has his best ball with him, Coach Hackenberg. Both former Penn State alumni. Like I said, Winslow has a great coaching staff this year. A lot of next level talent on that on that coaching coaching level has played. Coach Hackenberg. Coach Hackenberg was a former Jet and a former Eagle. They play each other this week. Yes, sir. I'm putting my money on the Eagles. I don't know about you guys. Uh, I mean, if the Eagles lose this week, I, I'd be very sad. Yeah. Very, very sad. Burlington Township offense taking the field. We all, we all know Coach Ingram's a Raiders fan, but, you know, the Raiders aren't having that great of a year this year. So At, oh. maybe, maybe we can get him to convert to be an Eagles fan. Yeah. Again, Burlington Township, the offensive line has been a big, big, big impact on this game. Number five is in motion. Handoff to number 32 for the inside. Brought down by number 58, Jalen McCain. Yeah, they ran. For a nice little gain on first down. As you said in the beginning, I believe they're just running the same formation, but running different plays out of it. Yeah. Trying to make it look different. Scheming. I think they need to pick up the pace, though. If they want to try to get back in this game, they need to stop taking 45 seconds per play. I agree. Mr. Ingham, Mr. Ingham making sure he lets everyone know he's always going to be a diehard Raiders fan. Smile. Always going to be representing the silver and the black. Brilliant Township is brought down by a gang of Eagles. Got Jalen McCain out there on that tackle. Samaj Anderson at number 13 for Winslow. She's going to be about 35. Yes, it is. I'm going to stick with it. Oh, that's good, man. That's how you do it. That's good, man. Snap almost dropped, but a screenplay at number 21. He is caught. And brought down to 51. 51. Great fake by Brooklyn Township to get the defensive end to come in to pass rush. Our defensive end is going to stay more, look a bit more contained and watch what's coming out of the backfield, making sure it's not a screenplay. Yeah, number 21 had a great first half. That's the first time we've seen in this half on a nice little slip wheel screen. And he rolled right through for a first down. Another run up the middle by number 21. He finds that hole every time. He really does. I mean, he just keeps driving forward and driving forward. It's about six yards. Winslow's trying to make sure they don't get it over, so they're playing double high safety. But they just keep pounding the ball right up the middle with this big offensive line. And this is the end of the third quarter. It is Winslow 42, Burlington Township 20. It is second and four on the 49-yard line when we return here at Winslow Township Stadium. In the fourth quarter. Winslow Township Band getting on here to play a little end of third quarter music for us. Cheerleaders are out there again. All our senior cheerleaders representing in their senior shirts. Mr. 
Jarvell and his band are doing a great job. He has a lot of his alumni to return for the night. They came on to a wonderful halftime show. Nick Jarvell works very hard. Make sure his band is always prepared. And the band encompasses seniors, juniors, sophomores, freshmen, and eighth graders from Wizzle Chagent Middle School. A little pop to my school. Definitely another great shout out to our Winslow alumni for showing up for our Winslow Eagles tonight, supporting. They're always supporting. All right, it's the start of the fourth quarter. Inside run to number 21, Winslow Township defense with a little bit of a stunt. Number 44 runs up, making a nice tackle. Another one of our, another one of our seniors, Jasir Slocum. So it's going to be the third and about four. Shout out to him. He's had an amazing season so far. He's also been with us for all four years. He was a real nice young man. Real bright future for Jazir. Clock still running. 11 minutes and 20 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Wins up by 22 points. Third down and four. Great drop back, back, and they roll that little zip screen again to number 21, and he gets another first down. And if you didn't hear, Rebel Township is down by 22 points. That's three possessions. The Burlington's going to keep running this little wheel route to number 21, I think, until Winslow stops it. And every time they run it, it seems like they get about 10 to 12 yards. It's a great play. Great play to catch the Divas off sides, of it, or if they're, if they're not paying attention as well. Yeah, they just keep zipping him underneath. He runs through the backside and goes a little wheel route. Motion in the backfield for Burlington Township. Yeah, there's an option jet. Jet sweep coming around 55. Great yeah, play the by the Winslow Township defensive end to Stay blow good. that up. Jay Probably for King. about 10, 12 yard loss, maybe. For a loss. What a great play by number 58. Great tackle, Jalen McKean. 58, 58. Seven yard loss. Seven yard loss. That was a seven yard loss. Yes. Seven yard loss for Jalen McKean. Third, bring up the third and one. The band's Second got a little second, second and long second. music going on here. Again, the clock is 10 minutes and rolling. Burlington Township is down by three possessions. If I was them, if they're sideline, I think I would be getting that ball to, on the ground and stopping that clock as much as I could. Yeah, well, they need a lot of possessions here. They need to get rolling here because the clock's ticking and they need a lot of points to make. There are three touchdowns behind. Quarterback keeper here, he was keeping the, the entire way. I guess that means they're going to go against about seven yards, eight yards on it. Gets back to the original line of scrimmage, so it's going to bring up a third and ten. Third and ten here. On the... Is that the 37-yard line? Rolls right. Wins the defensive end. Let's, oh, oh, that was... Oh, almost picked. You know what it is, bringing the ball. Great defense by Nakir. Help in the sophomore. Nakir having another big play, having a really nice game tonight. He's been showing up all night tonight. Uh, I'm going to say Burlington has to go here, go for it here on fourth and ten. They should probably keep their offense on the field. Nine minutes and 14 seconds left in his final fourth quarter. 42 to 20. Our Winslow Eagles up for 42 and Burlington Township with 20. Got a packed house tonight for homecoming night. It's packed enough. I couldn't get a parking spot when I got here. Sheesh. Got a park in the back. I had to go to Officer Gunson for a special spot just to try to make sure I could get in here. All right, fourth and ten. Nine minutes and 14 seconds to go. It's like Burlington was trying to draw the defensive line off. The quarterback's going to scramble again. Throws over the top to drop by number 14. Nice. Defensive Dropped. ends for Winslow are coming mm, down a down. little bit too far. I believe if they come up a little bit, their quarterback won't have Burlington Township quarterback won't have enough space for them to step up in that pocket and get yeah. loose like that. He's doing a real nice job of stepping up. Six. Yes, he is. He because they're, they're both coming around the outside, and the tackles are not able to get through to kind of cause a pocket with that. 
but that was a big drop for them because if he caught that, it would have been a first down. But now Winslow takes over first and 10 at the 36-yard line. Again, the offensive tackle's job is to make sure that defense on the end takes the longest route to get to that quarterback. So as long as they keep keep trying to go around them, defensive tackles, defensive, defensive, I mean, offensive tackles, it's going to keep happening. That quarterback's going to keep stepping up in that pocket and making plays as he's been doing all game. I have a feeling here Winslow's going to take a shot. I don't know why, but I feel like they have him set up for – for a Cameron Williams bomb right well, here. Well, that would be Williams. Williams was a touch football. Yeah, I just, I just have a feeling on this play. It just looks, it just feels like because Burlington's up, they got about nine in the box. Oh, I was wrong. Hand off. Little run to pump. Inside Number three. Off. Pop. Up ahead. Number five. Stanley. Um, my gut just tells me they're going to try to do something here. So second and five from the 41. As Winslow's hurrying up. They're, they're, they're helping Burlington out by a little run a little hurry up right here. Another, give it, give, give it back to him. Stanley up the middle, here. doesn't get much brought down immediately by Burlington Township. Still doesn't go down, but a bunch of golden helmets around that green one. Mm. Burlington definitely working on the gang tackling here. Looks like they will have a substitution. They will be taking a SAR out and taking, bringing Cameron Brown in. It is third and three at the 43 yard line. Eight minutes and 20 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Again, their clock is still running. Winslow takes a look. If they can get a first down here, they can burn another couple minutes off. 